Last year, when I looked at my ballot, uh, I counted 17 guys that I would vote for the Hall of Fame. The problem I have is that the Hall of Fame is an honor. It's not a right. The sport that uh, made a ton of money on the backs of Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa and Bonds and Clemens is now saying, oh my God, they were using steroids, as if that was a shock. It's hard for me to see Bonds and Clemens up there giving their speeches, knowing what they did. It's inevitable that Piazza gets in, and I think you know the fact that he's gained ground, considerable ground, the last two years, uh, while the ballot's been so crowded and so many people have gone in, uh, I think is a, is a very positive sign in that direction. If you're gonna put Bagwell in and Piazza, guys who I think may have used them, then put in Clements, put in Bonds, the whole damn will break. Jackie Robinson got 77%. I mean, if Jackie Robinson can't get 100%, you know, nobody's gonna get 100%. I think if you gave truth serum, to the people who run baseball, and there's no way that they would ever answer this directly. I think that they're that they are not going to put in Hall of uh, Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame as long as he's alive. This has been a stunning offseason. Add the Marlins, you can add the Dodgers. I'd say I don't know, eight to ten teams have taken dramatic turns, one way or the other. Since 1997, okay, only three teams have won at least 74 games in every season: the Yankees, who have a lot of money. The St. Louis Cardinals, who have a lot of money, and the Oakland Athletics, and that's because Billy tries to win. I don't want to draw comparisons to a certain team here, but <laughs> the Padres at least went out there and energized their fan base. You've got three or four good pitching prospects, trade two of them, because somebody's going to break and somebody's not going to pan out, and you're never going to get the full value of all four of them. Wright's going to come back, he's going to be really good, Dyer's going to be really good. We don't have to worry about choice stuff. That is ridiculous. If the Wilpons want to own the team, they're going to continue to own the team.